I've been around the factory and stuff and everything you do here, first of all, it's one of the tidiest factories I've seen uh, as a cricket bat maker <laughs> that I've ever been to. We made a special effort because we knew you <laughs> and, uh, and secondly, um, and it's very unique what you do. It's very specific, it's very sort of systemized. Uh, can you talk us through that? It all starts with the willow. We, we get the best willow from J.S. Wrights, based in Essex, the world's largest and most renowned uh, willow grower and supplier. And then we apply the science, the CNC technology that I've already talked about. We can um, program that machine um, to make the bat within um, a fraction of, of the desired weight. So we get the right cleft, the right grade, uh, with the right attributes and density to produce the finished product that the client has asked for. So once it comes off the CNC machine, then it goes to the, the traditional old fashioned methods that have been used for decades, if not centuries. So fitting the handle, shaping of the handle and, and the shoulders and, and the polishing. And, and as you've seen, um, Gavin and Neil take a real pride in what they're doing. That's, that's really good actually because you know, there, there's a bit of systemization involved and obviously it's very personal. There's a very personal touch to each and individual customer. And, um, you know, one of the most important components of obviously bat manufacturing is the actual pressing of clefts. I don't think a lot of people are aware of the importance of this process. Can you talk us through that? A lot of people talk about it and a lot of people have opinions on it and it is subjective. Uh, but through trial and error and, and experience and, and um, talking to other people, we think that we've got our pressing about right. So we, we don't press um, as soft as some people. So if you press soft, the bat will feel great to start with, but then die quite quickly. So if it's too soft. Um, at the other end of the scale, you know, we don't press too hard. You can press hard to protect a bat and give it longevity, but it's, it's like that. You know, and, and eventually it might start going, but you'll have had um, no success in the meantime. So we would say on a scale of one to 10, we're a six or a seven, but not a four or an eight or a nine. Um, and Neil and, and Gav um, press every blade individually. So some people would press uniformly, so they'd have an automated press with set pressures. Um, so every blade goes through the same. Uh, we believe that you know willow wood is, is a natural product, it lives and breathes. So we try and get the most out of it. So you'll, you watch the guys doing it and um, they'll press for so many turns, uh, then test it with a mallet and with a ball, and then a little bit more or a little, you know, so they'll try and optimise the ping from every blade.